I think Tony Stark is cool, so I made a Jarvis-inspired bot assistant that manages my to-do playlist, collects data, plays chess, and has voice search. Hello, Donnie. Work harder. Do not complain. Your current incomplete tasks are... Smoothie. How do you feel? Recent activity. Workout or yoga. Read, write, draw. Hardware. Software. Veggie. Next activity. Mark task complete smoothie. Task smoothie is now complete. Thank you. Please search everything I'm saying. Searching for everything I'm saying. Do you want to play a game? Yay. Let me load up chess. Your move. Every time I turn on my computer, computer vision is used with OpenTV face recognition to identify me and then greet me. A random quote from a list of my favorite quotes and my to-do list is read. Next, a desktop application I built to record self-data is presented. Finally, Jarva listens live in the background for keywords that activate her features like voice search, task managing, and chess. The file is pretty large, so I'll break down the code for you. We'll start with the greeting. You'll notice with my text-to-speech, it gets saved as an mp3 file, so we're using play sound, which plays the mp3 sound, which plays the mp3 file live. Next is random quotes. In a separate file, I have a list of all my favorite quotes, and in the top of the Jarva file, I'm calling one specific using random.choice, which gives me a random quote, and then I implement it into the text-to-speech. Next, we have the to-do. I created a database using SQLite, and I am then calling all of the columns that have tasks where completed equals not complete. And we're just feeding those into a variable and then calling that variable in the text-to-speech again. Underneath that is the Life app. My Life app is a desktop application that I created using Python, PyCutie, and SQLite to collect data on myself. It asks my current mood, my current activity, my next activity, and then if I've completed a checklist of my daily goals. There is a lot going on with this desktop application. The columns are triggered base and functional, so you'll notice that questions that have already been asked for that day based off the date, if they are already marked as yes, then they will not be asked a second time. After the app, we start the listening in the background so Jarva can properly activate her features based off voice commands. The first one is the voice search command. This is using Cilium and Chrome driver and also text-to-speech and speech-to-text and it puts what I'm saying into the search bar. After that, we have my favorite, which is going to be the task completed. This uses voice commands to mark task complete, which is pretty cool because it's basically using voice commands to update a SQL table. Lastly, I have the chess game. This is being called from a separate file because it's pretty large. Um, it's a combination of a couple files. Shout out to Dirt. Oh, I'm really bad at announcing people's names, but shout out to him. I'm going to link him below. This is his file. Um, I used all of his chess AI, but I did implement my own twists. So I did put the text to speech and the speech to text so you can use voice commands to play chess. So that is Jarva um, in all of her glory. And then to schedule a um, file launch, I'm just using a Chrome job and a Chrome tab, so that way it just goes every hour, and this is what it looks like. Hello, Donnie. Never underestimate the value of a careful observation. Your current incomplete tasks are Smoothie. How do you feel? Recent activity. Workout or yoga. Read, write, draw. Hardware. Software. Veggie. Next activity. Please search Danny's done. Searching for Danny's done. 
please search Dan Easton. Searching for Dan Easton. Do you want to play a game? Yay, let me load up chess. Your move. We are done here. Okay, goodbye. Love y'all. Love you too.